I'm Grace, welcome to my channel. Um, so for this week's video, I thought I would talk about my AP art portfolio. I didn't get a five, unlike um, some people on YouTube. Many art YouTubers, in fact, that I've been watching have gotten fives. Um, so am I bitter? No. Uh, but no, like actually, I, I can totally see why they got fives and I know why I got a four. I'm pretty sure it's because my concentration was not super cohesive because I got tired of it at the end. College board probably could tell I did not BS my way through the little like paragraph you have to write explaining your concentration well enough. Um, but yeah, anyways, I thought I would just talk about my concentration in depth. My concentration theme was makeup throughout time as it affects society and culture. Again, like I said, this is an ancient Egyptian eyeshadow pot and I wanted the idea to be it was kind of like a throwback to when the first eyeshadow was used. Uh, Egyptians would crush up the shells of beetles and put them in pots because they're iridescent and then use that as eyeshadow. This one, this is more of like a modern take. The pose is kind of like the Madonna because he's wearing a headscarf too, but this is actually one of my friends in drag makeup. I kind of wanted to just show that like Makeup now is more of an art form. It's no longer just for like covering your acne. Although, no shade. I used makeup to cover my acne all throughout high school. And then I got on prescription medication and it burns it off. So this piece I put in, I mean, it doesn't really fit. I just really liked it. And so I kind of wanted to just stick it in there anyways. I think I wrote some like fruity thing about how stick and pokes and tattoos are just a form of permanent makeup. But uh, I don't think the college board bought it per se, hence the, the four. Uh, this is another one of the same friend in the Madonna drag pose, uh, but this is supposed to be like a little more unsure, more like he's a young teenage boy who's just putting on makeup for the first time. Makeup isn't confined to one gender now. Uh, anyone can wear it. I painted this to be like kind of 90s, like riot girl, you know, smearing your red lipstick because you don't give a fuck. I can't decide if we swear on this channel now. I've been accepted to college, so I guess I don't have to worry about not swearing, but it just feels weird because I feel like all my subscribers are like younger and I'm setting a horrible example. I also submitted the lipstick, uh, just cause like lipstick, makeup. Again, needed a piece to put in there. Was kind of running out of motivation. True fans will recognize her. Um, I said that it was kind of like Instagram baddie makeup, like a modern take on Little Red Riding Hood, like she's wearing a Supreme hoodie. Um, so this is kind of like modern makeup now, and, but like a different subculture of modern makeup from the drag makeup, although heavily influenced by drag. I put in my um, painting of Aquafina. Again, this is like another piece that didn't really belong. I just wanted to fill space. I think I wrote something about like, oh, like Asian women are total wear makeup and she's not wearing any makeup. So like her eyes don't look big or whatever. <sighs> Again, this is why I got a four. If you like actually put in a little more time and effort, Probably a five. I put in this piece of a geisha, but a modern geisha applying her lipstick. So it was kind of like a play on sort of like the mysticism, like of the Far East, but it's kind of like turning that trope on its head by like saying, oh, she's just a normal woman. Like she's just putting on her lipstick like anyone else. I also put in the Your Body's a Weapon piece as a more like feminist view of makeup, kind of like, oh, you know, you don't have to wear makeup for other people anymore, even though society will tell you that you need to wear makeup if you're professional and stuff, which is kind of gross. You can wear makeup and it's for you. Another one of a girl in a 90s like grunge nightclub kind of staring at herself in the mirror. That was supposed to be sort of a take on um, just sort of grunge culture in the 90s. The brick red lipstick and the kind of like messy eyes, like the I don't really care, you know. And then I have this one. It's actually one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. It's of a little girl and there's spilled makeup all around her. And the idea is that she's playing with her mom's makeup and she's painting on the wall with it like little kids do. But instead of just smearing it on the wall, she's actually creating a dragon and she's made art out of makeup. So makeup is art. Yeah, that was my concentration. As you can probably tell, the style was not very cohesive. I kind of like hopped around a lot and I didn't really get as many time periods as I originally wanted to, but that's life. Um, I don't know how to really give tips on how to get a five or a four because I'm not even sure how I really got a four or if I should have gotten a five. I have no idea how they grade it really. I kind of spaced out during that part of class. But I will give you tips on how to finish your concentration in time. If you decide to take AP art, uh, either your junior year or your senior year. The summer before, just do a ton of rough concepts and try and nail down your concentration. And I think you should do at least 15 concepts because 
the idea is that you have all these ideas when you're excited and then later in the year when you've kind of hit your slump you can still go back to your old concepts and complete pieces even if you're not as passionate about them you know you'll still have something to do at least and then my other piece of advice is to put yourself on a schedule because 12 pieces uh, from like September or August when every school starts you basically have till from August till April because you want to be done by May so you can focus on submitting and like picking out your quality pieces and your breadth pieces so that's not a very long time that's like seven six months uh, which means that you want to be doing like two pieces a month so one piece every two weeks if you want to be done in time and that's a tight that's a tight schedule so uh, really be strict with yourself if a piece is not finished that's fine. Don't spend forever refining it. Just move on to the next one because it's much better come May to be adding finishing touches to a lot of pieces than to have like fully completed pieces and then like three that you need to finish in a week. That's way too much stress. Make sure that you, uh, not that you like necessarily have like a super broad concentration, but that your concentration is broad enough that you won't end up painting the same thing over and over again. So, for example, you could make your concentration reflection, and then you could have different reflections um, from different objects, or a reimagining of the major arcana of tarot cards, that's another good concentration. A bad concentration would be, like, apples, because, like, how many apples can you draw? You're gonna get, you're gonna burn out after three. The idea is that if you pick a broad enough idea, it'll give you freedom to kind of, like, experiment. And then my last big tip is to work small. I don't know if you noticed, but some of my pieces were only this big, and a lot of them never got um, bigger than, I think, like, 11 by 14. You want to work small because you don't have a lot of time, and if you do these huge pieces that take forever, you're, like, setting yourself up for failure because you can't finish that in two weeks and then move on to your next one. So, yeah, uh, those are my tips for AP art, not necessarily for getting a four or five. Uh, but for just finishing your concentration on time, which is a feat in itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope it was helpful in some way, and have fun in AP art if you're taking it.